So good evening and a warm welcome back to another session in the series of Meeting an Expert. As Asia Pacific Institute of Information Technology, known as API Sri Lanka, we are honored to host this session today with another panel of experts. Especially in a time where many discussions are held about global challenges and overcoming them. Specifically, it's going to be a very interesting session with these timely topics in discussion. So we warmly welcome all our students who are in the platform today and of course all our members who are joining us from our counterpart universities and all our foreign delegates members who are joining us and diplomats who are joining us from all around the world and not to forget all our distinguished guests who are in the platform today as well. So to start with, let me invite Chairman of API Sri Lanka, Mr. Bandule Godage, to share his wishes and expressions. Chairman, over to you. Uh, Kaushali, thank you very much. Uh, good evening to everybody. Uh, on behalf of our CEO, Mr. Roshan Egodagi, and the board of directors and the student population, the teachers and all the listeners who are connecting from overseas and also all our uh, MBA student fraternity, uh, I am very honored and privileged to welcome uh, 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 such an eminent personality, the Dr. Pratibha Mahanamahevagi. Actually, if you really look at it, when, 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 we, when we talk to him, we realize that he is not a stranger for Epi, but still, we really appreciate your, 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 your presence here for the important webinar in spite of your busy schedule, sir. Uh, as you all know, and particularly you know, and uh, especially the Sri Lankan education, uh, 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 the environment, uh, well aware that Epi uh, produces uh, good quality uh, uh, graduates. But here, what we are trying to say, uh, we ensure the academic excellence, but beyond that, we need to have fulfilled, uh, well-surrounded people into the society. We want to be leaders and we want to have extracurricular activities into his academic calendar. So that is why we are inviting people like you here, sir, to get the direct interaction with, uh, with you and get your experience and the valuable inputs and advices for betterment of their student life. So this is the great initiative done by Dr. Rohan Tatukoral. I think you are the, so maybe 60th CEO that who is appearing for the benefit of the student population of APIT. Since you know APIT, I mean, your, 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 uh, your effort or your advisors will be much more appropriate. And also the topic is also quite appropriate as at right now. Uh, so for, without further ado, sir, thank you very much for your valuable time again. Uh, thank you very much for being with us and we consider you more than the guest and we consider you as the probably as the alumni so 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 uh, i don't want to take much time so thank you very much uh, and over to you kaushali and dr rohanta thanks a lot thank you very much chairman um uh, president of the industrial association of sri lanka and of course he's also uh, in many other organizations he's functioning at executive level uh, it's fantastic for us to discuss this very pertinent uh, point today. Um, I mean, we got an amazing uh, person, a person whom I have a lot of respect for as a lawyer, uh, a person who is fearless in what he says, uh, a person that, uh, you know, Sri Lanka looks up to uh, when we listen to him uh, almost like, Weekly, we hear him on either TV, radio, or press, and and someone who who is very well looked up to in the private and the public sector. Uh, he's presently the rector of the Sri Pali campus at the University of Colombo. Earlier, he has held prestigious international positions of the dean and professor of the University of Technology, Jamaica, West Indies. He was the founder dean, faculty of law. Kotalavala Defense. He has also a wide international experience commencing from his postgraduate studies at the University of Melbourne, Australia, followed by research and teaching assignments at a number of local and international universities between 1999 and 2021. Pratibha Mahanam Heva was appointed as the adjacent professor at the John F. Kennedy University, USA in 2017. He has served in various academic advisory boards and research committees, 
local and international institutions such as National Science Foundation of Sri Lanka. He's an international reviewer for journals such as Science Direct and Elsevier. So, I mean, it's, it's really fantastic to have your kind of a caliber talking to us because we look at these journals when it comes to research. He represented Sri Lanka at the United Nations Human Rights International Committee in 2012 and was instrumental in preparing the Universal Periodic Report for the UNHCR in 2012 and was also prepared the Sri Lanka National Human Rights Commission annual report to present to the parliament in 2011. He's a professionally qualified lawyer as well as an international arbitrator. He was appointed as the chairman of the IT Law Committee of the Sri Lanka Bar Association, published several journal articles and conference proceedings, as well as 200 newspaper articles, 50 webinars, and more than 100 TV discussions related to the discipline of law. The former commissioner, Sri Lanka Human Rights Commission, and the Securities and Exchange Commission, Dr. Pratibha Mahanam Heva. Sir, over to you. Thank you. Very good evening. Uh, I will share my slides. All right. Hope you can see my slides. Okay. So what we are going to discuss today, a very pertinent and a burning issue. Even today, if you see headlines, even newspapers, as well as uh, foreign media, this is the most important one after the we have seen in Pakistan incident where a Sri Lankan was uh, murdered. Now, today, even we have seen uh, Al Jazeera also, certain type of news coming with the legal implications of product liability I am going to talk about. So, the product liability is basically not only for these utilities, but the burning issue is utilities. That is where Sri Lanka we have seen in the LP gas and also fertilizer as well as there are other issues what we are going to discuss today how to avoid this at least in future what are the arguments uh, made by the company what are the arguments uh, by the consumer and also to prevent rather than uh, legal action my main argument we have to go for prevention methods now Death due to explosion of cylinder of LP gas is one of the biggest issue now in Sri Lanka up to date. This occurred from November and sometimes in October also. Now the victim suffered blast injuries. We have seen a death yesterday also. At the same location due to the explosion of this LP gas, domestic cylinder and died on the spot. There were some incidents before also. We have to critically analyze series of events and there were certain events where the consumers or the buyers or the uh, household, uh, whoever who used that was a little bit care because uh, uh, they have actually lit the whatever the, uh, they want to open certain type of to make a cup of tea, these gas cookers with a, you know, closed all and there was a, there were some leaks, a certain leak was there. That was certain incident from Panudra Devil, but not like this. So the investigation into the blast circumstances is the utmost important to find out the manner and device involved. Today I'm going to discuss whether they have any malpractice involving use of cylinder to fill another one. It might be dangerous for the person involved and present in the vicinity. So we have to see basically two things. Number one, who is negligent on this issue? Whether the consumers are negligent or whether the company is negligent. For that, certain committees appointed as well as certain type of uh, experiments are going on and also JMO report as well as the most important thing, government analyst. So the government analyst basically made certain uh, comments before. So you have to analyze all these things and see how other countries, if uh, not even in this uh, type of gas, how the product, if products inferior quality or whether they are merchantable quality or not fit for the purpose, what is the law applicable and from where you can get the justice. So people are crying at the moment, those who suffered with them. 
Now, today, 15 December 2021, the latest statistics I am presenting, total of 727 explosions related to LP gas leaks. This has been reported since November 1st. So you can see these are not my statistics. These are all police department official statistics. Unreported cases also there. Sri Lanka, there is a trend. Most of the time people are fear to go and report these cases. So police said majority of these incidents were reported due to explosion of gas stoves and gas pipes. Not the ceiling. So gas stoves as well as gas pipes. So we will see where they have gone wrong. So out of these 24 explosions were due to LP gas leaks directly from the ceiling. So these are some of the reported cases. But anyway, there are 727 cases and we have to see whether the consumer or the buyer or the household users, whether they have taken. And women also very fear now even to lit a stove or even a gas cooker. So now see the reasons. Whether can we accept that these reasons? Are they real reasons? A committee was appointed very recently. They looked into a series of uh, cooking gas explosions. What they found? Substandard accessories. That means the gas line, the opener, and the stove. So such as uh, hoses, regulators, as well as the absence of odor, largely to blame. So now the blame is putting for the consume. Why you have not changed the gas pipe? Why you have not the regulators like that? But it has not been before. But you have to look the series of events with examples where it happened. And you are not actually putting that. But Litro Gas argument is very close to this, the committee argument. So what they say, ongoing investigation into the series of suspected explosions linked to Cooking gas have revealed that substandard regulators, clip-on valves, tubes, and caused the explosion, a company official said. So now you can see the committee appointed and their investigation, preliminary report, not maybe the final report, maybe fact-finding, similar thing the company also giving up. So where we stand now? So the committee said it studied data on the gas composition and vapor pressure. This is very important. Vapor pressure imported into the country during the last two years. And they evaluated the quality of the new system together with Consumer Protection Authority, Sri Lanka Standards Institute, Industry Technology Institute, and Sri Lanka Certification Board. But these were not working as an umbrella. They are not communicating each other. That I know very well. Sri Lanka, most of the government authorities, what they try to do, if something happened, they pass the blame. They pass the blame to another institution. Because of that, it's very hard to find out a center point. Even today, there is no center point where these types of things are happening, not like in other countries. Now, very recent article I found in uh, Ireland, very interesting article. Uh, Deshi Boteju, he argues, it's an independent research idea. The reported incident and incidents can be divided into four major categories. What are they? Sudden gas explosions inside houses and buildings. This is the not the first time, which had happened before also. But unbelievable, 727 incidents for Less than one month. How can it happen? Sudden explosions associated with the gas cooker. So one of my teacher, he is from Aturugiri, he explained, I am using this type of the gas cooker for the last five years, but nothing happened. But suddenly it blasted and also luckily no bodily injury for me, but the whole house damaged. And what the investigators are looking not even the gas cylinder, gas cooker, valves, regulator, all these things. And also, uh, there is no roof means uh, you have not properly put in certain cotton buds where they found from the kitchen. Those things they are looking. So we have to see. Major gas leaks and resulting damages associated with the regulator and the hoses. So mini gas leaks from cylinder, value, regulator and the hoses. Now, now we know the reasons. These are the reasons given. So all these are Many, many uh, reporting cases are coming. 
and typical gas related accidents happening within a typical year yes we know that something must have gone terribly wrong in sri lanka those who are using lp gas consumes i did a research i found 727 complaints but not a single complaint from a apartment or a housing complex all these are not metropolitan area metropolitan area very few that's the fact finding mission must look all these away from colombo very very rare colombo in a flat or even in a apartment this incident then if it happen in apartment the damage is double than this so this is where we have to look why it is not happening in one area what why it is happening around even mahiyangal even uh, uh, kurunagal certain cases are there so no one has studied out of the 727 incident or complaints how many from colombo district okay get from colombo metropolitan area that must look very carefully why it happened in other areas also so associated with some of these gas exploration accidents now this is the issue now most of the time they say increased pressure this is the issue so here the formula changed i don't know what are the reasons for the change of the formula so when you increase pressure automatically it try to leak from here now whether they have tested this before maybe some say 50 50 70 30 like that i am not a scientist but i just want to show you one thing here when you fit the regulator to the gas cylinder most of the cases found pressure because you have seen the gas leak from here and also there is the smell is also not coming that's another reason with this gas is so pressure safety valve that's why this uh, committee report as well as the vitro gas say pressure safety values are not basically equipped with the new new formula i will come to the court case today also right so this is where i found not as a scientist as a lawyer whether this is capable now this was capable for a long time when the gas formula changed something may have happened so then who is negligent whether it's a criminal negligent whether it's a civil negligent whether the duty of care has been breached whether proper investigation you have conducted selecting certain households in sri lanka as a pilot study before introducing this study. now i have seen video clips uh, someone come and open then he lit the fire nothing will happen but they don't show where when when this type of a regulator fixed to a normal used cooker whether this type of pressure can hold this is the main thing even the courts must look after changing and before change now this is where you can see now with this when you when you change the formula increase pressure definitely this thing is happening most of the cases we have that so that cannot be bad by the gas cookers and this is one of the example i have to show you this is where explosion of the cylinder that means cylinder also cannot hold that and most of the cases came up yes inferior quality regulators you have not changed your gas tubes likewise but here i can show you recent case and there are now trends also the gas cylinder also blast this is not in sri lanka india india also lp gas some of the cases i can show you terrible this is not only in sri lanka other countries it's happening right so these are some of the cases where they found reasons for this is all we mean huh? likewise now i come to the law what is the law say now when you buy a product when you buy a product it can be a utility or it can be a consumable goods or it can be anything before the sale of goods law introduced to sri lanka we have caveat emptor what is caveat emptor latin term let the buyer be aware you go to the store you buy a gas cylinder check it from there later don't come and complain this was before 1879 in sri lanka that is called caveat emptor 
let the buyer be away if you want to buy a gas cylinder test it and then you take it later don't come and complain but after the ordinance was introduced caveat venditio let the seller be aware this is where the english law english law is very clear 1873 sale of goods act the carbon copy was introduced in sri lanka when we were a colony that is 1879 sale of goods ordinance now after the sale of goods ordinance a good concept came to sri lanka that is where by if you are selling any product you can't blame the consumer not the consumer the buyer sale of goods coming seller and buyer so this copy of the uk sale of goods act section 13 and 14 is very clear two implied conditions introduced what are these two implied conditions even a sale of goods contract it can be a receipt it can be a voucher it can be a signed document impliedly coming at a term if you sell unmerchantable quality or even not fit for the purpose the seller liable the seller liable so this is coming under sale of goods contract if you are having a sale of goods contract the buyer and the seller we are the seller transfer the property of the goods to the buyer for the money consideration now if something goes wrong all 727 if you have the bill if you have the receipt you can sue under this because the quality and also this is not fit for the purpose that is under the breach of sale of goods contract but sri lanka we have other laws do you know this 2002 public utilities commission of sri lanka if it is a nuisance to the public and the property and life lost the company is liable to pay a fine minimum 10 million to 100 million so you have to file a court case please remember all these who suffered there is a law in sri lanka this is public utility commission the act is very very clear this is where gas electricity water all these are utilities not only i am telling gas so it's a very big fine 10 million to 100 million but not a criminal action civil action so here the life lost property lost many places even in badul so therefore now we must aware you can't go to courts and say i don't know this law no the court implies you know over the laws second is 2003 consumer affairs authority act you don't want to be a buyer you don't want to be a buyer but you must have some uh, evidence to show you have purchase this gas but even gas very lucky monopoly whether it can be litrol of gas those are the two companies at the moment so even you don't have a receipt the gas cylinder speaks itself as a receipt because the color is there blue color and the yellow color so you can complain to consumer affairs council on inferior quality products after using my house damage my cooker damage and there were some body injuries then you have to go to a hospital please don't go for private try to go for a government hospital and get the jmo report jmo report that is very important if you are going for a case you can go to a private hospital i am not telling that but jmo report is very important to show your body harm medical report even in private you know uh, even in a private uh, hospital they give a report mr medical report. so that must come up unmerchantable uh, what are the reasons for this burning right so unmerchantable and not fit for the purpose now content and labeling is very important today not a single gas cylinder the content is not displayed while it in this slow labeling is not there how to use this product also not there and also not even the risk to the general public then they must give a sticker before using check your cooker check your hose pipe check your regulator nothing just selling the gas this is the biggest problem in sri lanka so all these two companies they are violating 2003 consumer affairs authority act but by not labeling not content today litro gas company lawyer and the management back to the courts we will display it with the new batch that means they have violated the law 
Now, why can't you take legal action? Even in the Court of Appeal, they agreed. I'll come to the case later. There's a Sri Lanka Standard Institute Act. They are silent about this. They say we have no power to check the formula. But still, you must check. The Sri Lanka Standard Institute is there. Even for the regulator, certain other things, at least they can educate. Now, there are cases in the Sri Lanka Human Rights Commission. This is a public body, government entity. 51% more than that, like Sri Lanka Airlines. So, the commission can only give a recommendation. If recommendation not followed, I, I was a commissioner. Before. If a recommendation not followed, yes, the commission can't do anything. It, it doesn't have like many teeth, like the, even language uh, commission has many teeth. If, if a recommendation not followed, they can file the case in the magistrate court or high court. Criminal negligence. This is very, very important. Whether this purposely, intentionally, carelessly, recklessly they have done it. But for that, it's very important intention. That now there were two or three deaths in Sri Lanka. Section 293. Penal Code of Sri Lanka. You have to properly show the intention, the action, and that sometimes this may not be true. Intentionally, they are not trying to kill a person, but still it is criminal aspect is there. That's why my argument. You are playing with people's life, still you are playing with people's life. You have to be very careful. Women are very scared now to go out, even to go and lit. Uh, yes, they were, that's why they put outside. So these are this, this is where the company must give the awareness, not now. Now, I heard even in the company, one of the managers said, before a long time, we were testing this. No, not there. You have to go to a household and check it. Must introduce compulsory product liability insurance, which is there in other countries. In United Kingdom, very, very strong, strict liability consumer protection act. But we don't have that strict liability. If strict liability was there, they have to be on the spot. Fine. Now, human testing is banned by law. It was done body shop. The famous perfume manufacturing company. They tested with animals. Now they are not testing. Even countries are not testing. Even any product used to animals. But Sri Lanka, what happened? Human testing. All these, we are 727 cases. You could have easily stopped if you have done some testing before. So, I don't know. This is the issue in Sri Lanka. I'll give a good case. In UK, one of the best case. McAlpine versus Minimax case. Now, a fire extinguisher case. It's very famous. McAlpine bought four carbon dioxide fire extinguishers from Minimax Limited. Number one world selling these fire extinguishers. There was a timber house. They placed four fire extinguishers in the timber house. Suddenly, a fire occurred and it exploded. Thereafter, what happened? They used these uh, fire extinguishers. When applied the fire extinguisher to the fire to minimize it, oh, the fire extinguisher also exploded and the damage was doubled. Court ruled this is an unmerchantable quality fire extinguisher and not fit for the purpose. Therefore, you have to pay damage. Same thing if Sri Lanka cases are. So you have to see where the case has gone wrong, but still. The pressure must be proved. It is not bare to normal gas cookers or cylinders. So, Litro Gas Court Appeal case came today. Agreed to act on SLSI recommendation when distributing LP gas. Now only the test we agree for a long time. Before. At least till the case is pending. Whether they recall gas cylinders, how many gas cylinders they have to recall. But I have seen they have given uh, telephone numbers. Yes. That's good if you can do it. Then product recall, a very big expense. Do you have a product recall insurance like USA, Australia, and other countries? Now there's another problem. Return in the shipment of a consignment of LP gas. So Sri Lanka standard insurance officials instructed not to take this is substandard gas. But the ship is hanging like the fertilizer ship. I don't know whether it go or not. So these are some of the things. So you must be very careful. Product liability, today the seller is liable. Seller means the manufacturer on the other side. So the law is very clear. Several legislations are there. If you take action according to those legislations, then what will happen? You can get at least a damage compensation. Now you don't have money to go for a case. 
then sri lanka you have legal aid commission every district you have a legal aid commission they will act according to that or even free legal aid lawyers are there free legal aid ngos are there you have to take action because people are not for testing people are for human beings respect them protect their rights but these things actually finally when it went to courts only the order was given that was too late so there are 727 cases so my argument finally even you must look in a very positive way how you can minimize that's why i give i have a doubt because the committee found evidence and the gas company evidence are more or less similar so that was another you know misunderstanding i don't know finally it will decide by the courts but investigation must go properly even in the government analyst uh, also said in a tv interview i heard there's nothing wrong in the gas but even nothing wrong in the gas people are not buying gas cylinders to sit as a chair to use it when you are using it why you are escaping your liability the gas cooker is not standard regulator is not standard valves are not standard at least you must check because these type of services are welfare services even when one or two incident report reported they could have tested so finally a lot of cases will come up and i think in future we must save people life people property those who got damage or their lives or property compensation should be paid now in future enormous profits earned by these gas companies they must introduce a product liability insurance as a compulsory still it is not no product liability insurance introduced but in all the other countries even usa even canada most of the countries product after using this product in the insurance companies so why sri lanka cannot be why the insurance companies even not interested and also after product recall how they get it and people are very scared even uh, change of this formula i don't know this type of two type of uh, you know whatever they use for the formula you must inform and even you should have informed all right now we are giving the new cylinders therefore don't use old cookers don't use all the regulators then contact now even uh, this uh, consumer affairs authority i check the law they don't have any provision to check the quality of the gas there is no provision but only the provision was there uh, in the slsi but they are also now little bit reluctant but now after the court case they are now checking so innocent consumers innocent buyers they can't go to court so please remember if you want to file a case under sale of goods ordinance still not change the same one you must be a buyer if you want to file a complaint or a case as a consumer then go to the consumer affairs authority so they must have a special desk to handle all these 727 cases tomorrow morning i don't know how many cases we go so thank you very much dr rohan they invited me so we can have a discussion i think i got the time i don't know i got the additional time yes i think i finished on time thank you very much um, doctor it was fantastic um so i mean whole heap of questions are coming up on whatsapp um some are coming up email also to me uh, i'll take one by one so the first question that has been asked is it says litro is owned by sri lanka insurance and the finance ministry which essentially means that the government of sri lanka owns litro why is there silence on the part of the government officials ah oh, this a company companies main objective with the articles of association to earn profit even if it is a government company the main 
objective to earn profit and also they have a board of directors as well as you perfectly said even maybe the shareholders may be the insurance company and shareholders may be other government authorities now this silence not only this little guess but it was SLSI also they were silent but after the court case only when the court issued summons they come and give this type of evidence i mean they try i don't know this is my personal opinion right i mean the officials were a little bit silent because the officials maybe the responsible authorities have given nothing wrong in the case this is where by substandard or inferior quality or low quality or unmerchantable quality gas cookers cylinders pipes and the regulators therefore the gas company is not like so the argument this this formula changed in other countries also that but nothing happened but this country is totally different the environment heat you have to take into other consideration so maybe until a proper commission report out the government authorities may be silent and that's why they kept silent but that is not good immediately you must take an action if these things are happening so insurance companies they are actually that's a very good point i am making why the insurance company cannot at least now introduce an insurance scheme for the product liability even those who have said but insurer insurer contract is not there but they have the insurance fund but that fund is for separate thing but at least to compensate the company must do it because they are profitable so, so silence not only this incident for many incidents government is government officers normally take action after lapse of time it's a trend in india also it's a trend in sark country so we cannot blame so they they wait until the final report and then will they take action but immediate action you have to take you have to go to even, even uh, consumer affairs authority i think uh, one of the resigned uh, officer explained this long time before the inferior quality is there in the gas but e- even in that case uh, they could have taken some action so rather than personal lives are very important so it's a culture it's a basic culture i mean not only in sri lanka most of the countries but now after the court case now they are very active they go to the ship and they check everything and they say no 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 we are not but i don't same thing happened to cement sometimes back in fire quality cement without a sl si see etc in most of the issue the, the the question here is that is the failure by the organization or is there a failure with regard to legislation on 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 how it meets i mean i mean today is going to be lpg tomorrow it can be a shampoo and the next day it can be a biscuit you know what i'm saying now uh, uh, the reason why we i mean we had the same discussion with facebook you know same same discussion where uh, what has happened is that uh, uh, you know when mark zuckerberg was interviewed by the senate and he asked the senate asked you know uh, you know you you can basically predict what the consumer is going to behave and how the consumer is going to behave and don't you think that it's a violation of human rights you know and and uh, and his answer was very simple and he said that my job is to understand what the consumers and the business needs are and how i'm going to develop technology to 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 be competitive you know and 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 make my brand a top of the mind brand that's my job you know that's what he said if if the 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 systemic nature has not come out with the process to protect the consumer that is not my problem that is that is that is a problem of where the 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 overall governance structure of the us has not uh, been in, in 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 has not been developing their systems uh, in tandem with technology you know so 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 and i very clearly remember how the person who was asking questions 
got up from the chair, Dr. Pratibha, moved to the next chair, and he said, "Do you do you know do you do you know that I have moved? You know, are you aware? You know, and 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 you had the Google CEO and the Facebook CEO both uh, asking, you know, yes, I I might know if by chance you had, you know, said that. Follow me, you know." Now, is that a violation of human rights? So the question here, I'm just trying to develop a, a parallel. Uh, now we have a situation where we have 700 plus explosions and you have one person dead. And, and right now we find that there are cracks in the system and with regard to the law, which sometimes this company might get out. And they might sometimes not be able to be felt liable. So what is your view, sir, given that you are a former commissioner of the Human Rights Commission? Over. Yes. Uh, before the rights aspect, I will come to the law. 2000 C Consumer Affairs Authority Act. Certain clauses are not implemented. It say in every place when you sell a product, the price must be displayed. How many car sales in Sri Lanka have they ever displayed the price of the car compared to UK, USA, as well as Australia? I am giving a very simple example. What these officials are doing? They never read those places. And also you have to keep the price notice, which is not there. And a receipt is not given. The law actually there. But implementation as well as taking action and rates are very, very minimal. But I can't complain to consumer players because I don't know whether they have the enough workforce, whether they have enough rating officers like that. I, I am telling even for the gas, there is a little bit uh, gray area because the authority has no power to check the formula. Now, in future, you can make the minister can make most of these regulations and check it. That's why the minister also became a respondent in this case. And also, uh, the state minister also there, right? Now, when you come to the rights angle, Human Rights Commission, they look into that because the main human right right to life even right to life not in our constitution black and white letters there are certain supreme court cases Sriyani de Silva versus Tanak Itta Malgoda OIC Payagam police station certain cases now they have expanded right to life so therefore they can't keep silent what the human right commission can give at least they can give recommendations even a very quick report to the government authorities call all the government authorities to the human right commission and look what has happened. That is where to minimize future. As a human rights commission, they have two options. Number one, full-scale investigation involve all public authorities only. Others they can't. So call all the public authorities and where they have gone wrong. And if something has negligently done, what they can give, they can give a recommendation to pay damages or compensation. Now, your question is not that. Why it has happened? What is the reason for it? So, this is where people are not much, you know, fear. No, I, I mean, not fear. They, they, they are not much applied to the uh, Human Rights Commission because they know Human Rights Commission issue a summon only, the officers are good. For the other, they just, you know, uh, take it as a very minimal. So, my argument, at least, the act must be changed. And also, there must be law reforms for the Consumer Affairs Authority Act. And also, SLSI also, the engineering section, they also look into that. But the failure is major one. Why I'm saying the failure is a major one? They have not done a pilot study. Only pilot study after changing the formula, the company has only done. The company could have called all these stakeholders and could have done. Then the liability is there. I'm not a judge, but with the judgment, we will see how this case is proceeding. 
Now I can give some examples from India. Now in India, this is a little bit different. The India all the government officers, when they do like this, they go and complain to the bribery and corruption commission. Now this is we are misuse of your powers. It is not a bribe, but it is a misusing of powers, a malpractice, douchey thing. That's why they see. But Sri Lanka also that is there again the government officers. that is another one place you can go and complain but i have not seen many take this as a misuse because no one is private individual the consumer associations are not powerful uh, rohan here that is the biggest issue here only doctors association very powerful gmo a bus the bus uh, owners association is very powerful patients association not powerful consumer association not powerful no one is free. but the actually you have to set up consumer association if the associations are not are powerful they can go and sue against this company so this is where the big margin is there all the professional association you know actually the bar association is very powerful but the poor litigants they don't have association so look those are the gaps area in sri lanka even i am a lawyer i think that i know how powerful these authorities and they are trade unions how nurse union is very powerful but what about poor patients go to the hospital today even i went to general hospital how many people are suffering no one is there to take action in these these officials so the gap is why and I, we I, are silent that's the issue. i i understand where you're coming from but then now where where do we turn to here because if you're saying that the 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 our legislative system is not strong to take action you know because our system is weak for example if you take the bribery uh, commission if you take cia block uh, you know you take all the uh, the cases where people have even gone to uh, jail where public officials have uh, been been in corruption uh, you know uh, i mean and after that all those cases are dismissed as we speak today you know so i mean how how, how does even if the if people are question in the legal process how does a how does a, a country function i mean uh, uh, the 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 debt issue is one you know and and the debt issue can be managed because many countries are having certain problems financially because of the coming out of covid but the biggest problem here is about governance you know the governance structure has fallen on the ground you know and people are lost total faith on the legal system so now as a university which is teaching law to youngsters you know how 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 do you bridge this gap well, what is your view dr pratibha that's a great question number one rule of law before that i would like to mention dr rohant in india we have in india there is public interest litigation Sri Lanka, we don't have public interest litigation. Public interest litigation for a section of community, if their rights are violated, directly they can go to Supreme Court of India. Now this seven hundred twenty-seven on behalf of them, few people can go and file a public interest litigation action. But Sri Lanka, we don't have it. After the Gopal incident, you know that we are the, the whole city was smashed. so likewise i propose in a new constitution if it is coming in january or in future you must respect this action what is that public interest litigation for a group of community for a group of people if your rights are violated because supreme court have in powers but under supreme court rule 49 they can you know go ahead with that number 2 as a law teacher for the last uh, 27 years we always teach a whole rule of but i am also sheep even this is not happen where we have gone wrong 27 years teaching law still we have not seen any change doctor law so we have to see our memory why these things happen why the system is not changing even calling good governance 
good governance is not there it's only a name board that's why the last government was a collapse so we have to see the people's feeling and to give the priority to the rule of law and respect their rights which is not happening and people think in a daily route basis and, and, and i'll give a good example if any place if a road traffic accident happen 500 people around when the traffic police come in even you and me also go why they take our statement there after you have to go to the courts how many days you have to suffer like that that system you have to change that's why special high courts have been set up sri lanka now it is coming up this is where immediately uh, within a shorter period if you can give a judgment for a case then the system can change so so these are the things i am proposing sri lanka there is a law commission they can set up this setting up a courts not enough within a shorter period if you can you know finish that's why the other jurisdictions in china cuba russia they are going not with adversarial system we go with adversarial long time they go with incostarial it don't take much time in european union other than united kingdom so so most probably what i say the system must change the culture must change and the people must love this law and take action but people have no time rohan to you and me from this covid period we all working very hard so do you have any time monday to friday to go to courts and give evidence or go to court courts and file action in the supreme court one case i am not telling the former cj's name a teacher some violation for him he went and filed the case on a uh, tuesday then what the cj said why you are coming go and teach go and teach no my rights violated no no you are a public officer public officer 8:30 to 4:30 you must be in the office this is where sometimes back not now so how can we so, change uh, dr system? pratibha uh, uh, is it fair to say that as a consumer go, go taking the legal course of action is not going to help and maybe what you're saying is that a better option would be look at the social pressure option which is yeah. like what farmers did where you revolt and then i mean that's one way that you can exert pressure on the government system i mean is that what you're recommending uh not that it must be a collaborative system this is where any government come and give promise or pledge most of the time those are not implemented so in some countries this election promise or election promises if not fulfilled they have a right to go and file it so the government also they may have problem but they have a ethical obligation social obligation rather than a legal obligation to fulfill what it is happened now forget about that now these incidents when it happened because we are actually even we say we are independent sovereign and territorial integrity all these thing but we have to depend with someone's production so we are not producing gas we are not producing many type of things so are we agree with their conditions to put down the price that is the major thing happen now this gas or any other thing formula or it can be a shampoo or something can happen tomorrow a different one so in all these things cosmetics you have a act and also for the other laws you have a act but even sri lanka food act to food act is the food commission is there so i mean even having the laws my main argument consumers are not aware people are not aware about their human rights and fundamental right so what they do for a easy way they go and buy and eat anything even you buy bread have you ever see the weight of bread so even they say 500 grams it is not 500 Sometimes three hundred and fifty is there. Have you ever taken any action against that? No. So these are some simple things where you have to show you are vigilant. If you are vigilant, if you are actually showing your potential as a group, that's why I said social pressure. Individually, we can't do anything. Individually, we can do go and you know cast the vote that is coming after five years on. Other than that, how people are actually fighting for their rights. and even okay don't fight for their rights covid 19 demonstration everything now go with health regulations but at least there must be a system legal system set up to solve these issues as early as possible then you have to set up a special court and then look into these grievances 
even these grievances still not handling peddling no the committee is giving one report and another committee is giving another report and another report will come from someone and how to harmonize all these things so until doctor, that until that you find i don't think any solution see doctor it's very i mean we really love this conversation uh, that we are having because we are having a very open discussion uh you know before i came i just did some research and there were two very important points that came out number one is that the slsi is a semi government organization only if somebody wants to come and get a certification that they would go up to them they are not a legislative body where everybody has to get so i think there is a gap there see for instance if i say that i'm going to market a shampoo and i need to get a slsi certification you know then the law is very clear but here what has happened is anybody can come out with gas you know and unless somebody wants a slsi certification you know they can always say i don't want a slsi so somebody can't hold a slsi um uh the cause of this or who has negligent uh, secondly is that uh, which you very rightly very said in this case there's a alleged corruption where uh, uh, a ship had come with uh, the gas and and even without the certification been done uh, it has been taken in which apparently is the reason why uh, this whole cause of this uh, faulty product that has gone out so which has not yet come on media you know which is already there in 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 many domains so so it actually falls into corruption you know now uh whilst this whole discussion was going i was just asking myself how do i prepare for today's meeting and one thing that came out was that uh, since we have only like two weeks of money left as per the 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 foreign exchange which is there uh you know this is a classic example of where the com- country has come to a certain point now that the real decisions will have to start being taken so it could be that the imf will have to walk in for bailing or it could be many abc countries you know there are many stories of two or three countries coming in for a bailout and maybe when the bailout happens you know all these administrative regulations and all these kinds of um the the, the strength of the legal judiciary will have to be strengthened because if not you know that they will have questions on the money that they have given it so maybe this could be actually a eye opener to what is been done uh, and maybe the prolonging of the parliament uh, is also another indicator that you know that everything will have to start from beginning because all the commissions that were set up have now ceased which means that uh, the, the not the, the permanent commission, commission. Not, not the permanent yeah. commissions parliament the, commission. yeah parliament commissions have all come to place so that means again we have to start gathering facts and we have to again start from zero so so in this backdrop uh, i mean if i look at your life and 27 years of teaching eminent lawyer you know uh, worked across so many countries been a public uh, uh, you i mean you been on a human rights activist plus in a commission i mean when you look back where do you think sri lanka has gone wrong sir we have gone wrong for the last 70 years from the independence we have gone wrong. that's my uh, reading so most of the time what i have seen all the governments who had come to power they have not actually go with the static policy give me one minute i explain this right when honorable barack obama when he was contesting for the election he said change 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 and i will close down the gontanamo bay torture house for the last years he failed public officers are powerful sri lanka what i have seen politicians are powerful not the public officer they must have a backbone politicians come and go but the public officers are there so that's why we need a strong public service commission which failed from 1947 solberg commission 1972 first republic constitution 1978 constitution all the parties who came to power they broke but 
if you see other countries i mean even in japan ministers are not powerful the public officers are powerful so this is the message i want to give we must respect the state rather than politicians so what is your advice to a youngster listening yes. to you um studying law uh, i mean uh, people who are going abroad have decided to go abroad but then there is a lot of us who say that we have decided to stay in sri lanka and uh, they are studying for their law degree they want to do a masters what, what is your advice to a youngster sir thank you very much i was granted a world bank fund to do my phd in australia queensland brisbane even people who went with me they stayed and i said no i am coming back are you mad no i i studied free education i must do some service for my country even i had a lot of opportunities to say that but i said no i am going back so motherland is number 1 so what you can do people if you are actually brain drain migrating yes many mm. if you take me mm, i think 40% students are not in sri lanka they are in other countries so this trend may not stop if we are not changing the thinking pattern the culture as well as policy framework even my phd is a policy framework but i don't know whether they are implementing or not this opportunity you gave me for my student to say follow rule of law and also try to be transparent as well as stop this type of opportunity try to do best for the motherland and policy wise if you are taking decisions even the young slsi officers young slsi means uh, they join the government service ministry of public administration if they are really really working hard to bring the fragile system into one where i lecture a lot of segments in this country i always preach them i always give my advice follow the rule of law follow the policy follow the procedure don't go shortcuts but i am fair shortcuts are there so uh, i give today that advice go with procedure wise as well as rule of law even i like if two of my students doing this this can be devil thank you very much the, the dr pratibha i mean we yet respect you for being the voice of people we i mean i when i when i see you on tv i will always stop all my work and i want to listen to you because i mean out of 21 million people you have about three or four people Who, who have this ability of actually making a difference to people's lives and who are uh, fearless in what they say so now i mean you have done a amazing job academically you have uh, you are not just a uh, armchair preacher but you have also been the commission of the human rights commission uh, and where are you going to go next what's your next challenge sir be a disciplined person to help others to protect human rights i was in jamaica unknown country i was the first sri lankan he in, they invited me to set up a jamaican law school and i was a professor and dean when i was teaching for them i thought they are very you know indisciplined no there are people like us we can give our service for other countries no i always think this is where i got my free education everything free even up to phd from grade 1 my next stage is to have a very quiet life to give free legal aid free legal advice and aware now i am 56 i don't know how many years we live here but we will give our free advice free education and everything free you know how many calls even just now a call coming with the gas case one of my sir suffering with aturugiri please help me because consumer affairs authority i have lodged the application still no reply see dr rohan das this is the situation application lodged two weeks before not the acknowledgement so that's why i have to stay in this country 
i have to give the awareness even i have made a complaint to consumer affairs authority to receive a, to receive a response acknowledge it took one month now more than one year gone my inquiry i don't got if a thing happened to me what about you that's all so uh, one fun one final question sir do you do you believe in sri lanka and 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 why why do you yet believe in sri lanka i don't believe politicians but i love my country they are very peaceful they actually with the reconciliation but their mind changed by corrupted politicians so my advice read study analyze and take a decision the day you are acting like citizens rather than voters this country can be a very beautiful place thank you thank you very much uh, uh, dr pratibha i mean uh, i think we have had about 60 of these interviews from the very eminent people but i think the advice that you have given i mean we have had all the chairmen of blue chip companies chairmen of multinationals coming here but i think the advice that you gave just now in the last 10 to 50 12 minutes is is in invaluable uh because all what we can do is to listen to people like you who we um we follow we have respect for and thank you very much for for i mean i really appreciate um i mean already we are getting so much of uh, you you see so much on chat coming out kaushalya over to you thank you sir thank you very much doctor indeed such a mesmerizing delivery and again as we always tell students this is your learning which will never be available in a book this is personal experience years and years of hard work and years and years of different types of engagements not only with humans but with legislative system and of course with patriotism as well so th- dr mahana mahewa thank you so much for your support your sharing and more than anything what you said resonate and i'm sure it will be very supportive to students as well read study analyze and then decide the whole purpose of education you summarized just in four words and thank you very much for that and i'm sure this will be an amazing motivation for all our students and we are counting back to see you back in our university very soon when the time permits when we have our students coming to the platform and coming to the premises until we see back, you back again thank you very much for your time and all the viewers thank you so much for coming on board today this brings us to an end of another amazing episode in this series and we'll meet you back again in another week's time until then do take care and good night Thank you.